Okay, welcome to the third in a series of tutorials on TechPlot 360 2011 R1. Today I want to just spend a moment talking about some of the modifications we've made to our CGNS data loader. So one thing that uh, we've had a number of organizations ask for would be support of the CGNS data loader. Um, what we've done is change the mapping such that we can have multiple CGNS zones and solutions per uh, CGNS file, which allows uh, users then to perhaps use multiple CGNS files uh, as a way of housing uh, data for, say, an unsteady result, or if you're looking at dumping out data on a network drive or a series of network drives on a cluster. Um, the other thing that we've done, although I've talked about this before, but uh, for those of you who are using Plot3D or Flow3D, we've added support for the uh, m the effectively the the flow 3D data that is saved parallel. So if uh, I had an example, I could show you that as well. Other things that we added for our Fluent data loader, we've added the ability uh, to kind of recurse those Fluent data much more f uh, rapidly. As a result, we've decreased load times by, I believe. The last time we looked at it was about 30%, so we've increased the speed of load by 30% or so. On the Plot3D side of things, we've added the ability to have um, both uniform and non-uniform grid structures, as well as the ability to add multiple grid and solution files as part of the loading process. And that's just some of the things we've added for TechPlot 360 2011 R1 around data loading.